the IPR auction happened on, did we decide it happened on Tuesday? I think it possibly could have been Tuesday, yeah. It could have been, couldn't it? It seems like a like a massive day for for a huge event in sport. Just put it on a Tuesday. Um, I think it was in Dubai for the first time ever, so it was outside of India. Um, Do you know why that was? There was nobody. There was no. I haven't got a clue. I don't know. Um, but there was like a big arena thing, and there was. You could tell there was nobody in there because every time it panned to the crowd, it always went to the same people, and they'd had them like. They had them all sat in the same place. They had like, they had like a row of like uh, Delhi fans, and then behind them were like some Chennai fans, and behind them were like some RCB fans. There was nobody else. There was like four, three, and four people, which I think is a bit of a shame because in hindsight, I and obviously getting to Dubai would be a, a inconvenience. But I wonder whether you could just buy a ticket. Could you buy a ticket to go and sit in the audience for the IPL auction? I don't know. It seems biz- seems bizarre that they wouldn't try and monetize it Mm. like there would definitely be people that would pay to watch that i would probably pay to watch it to be fair it's just one of those things to be like i went to watch cricket auction saw some players go for absolute coin it was was interesting some of it's so memey as well yeah so like some of it's just ridiculous it it literally makes no sense when you see some of the names go under the block and then then you go later on like some of the people panic because they don't get the players that they want it's it's quite worrying like how much money some of these guys actually go for like fair play to them but you do sit there as a fan and you think ah lads i think you've got that completely wrong yeah there's, there's always um it always throws up those kinds of surprises doesn't it even I remember like watching the hundred draft last year and kind of seeing a few of the people that were getting um, auctioned off in that. And you're like, Ooh, 60 seconds. Yeah. There's got them good. Or I don't know how long, how long do they have in the IPL to decide 60 seconds, two minutes. I think it just goes like on. That. Oh, they just no, I think it. honestly, just it just goes on. So that the, yeah. So the Pat Cummins and Mitch Stark things just went on for forever it just kind of kept going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, which I guess is kind of makes it a little bit more exciting, it being an auction rather than a draft. Um, but yeah, it just went on. Like Travis Head, 819,000 US dollars. I read some of it. I think he's got like 150 in like three years in T20 international cricket. Like how have you gone for, I know, I know it's because he won the World Cup and I know that's why, but like it's a different format. He's got like 150 in 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 three years it's not it's not clever money like Gerald Kurtzeyer the South African quick who kind of came into that team because Nokia was was injured $602,000 right he played in the World Cup the actual World Cup Spencer Johnson the quick lad that took like took like three for nothing for the Oval Invincibles in the 100 last year at the time of the auction he played 21 T20 matches and he'd taken 17 wickets 17 t- 1.2 million dollars he went for double Kurtzea and Kurtzea went in he, he was in the world cup he was there in india and it makes no sense ashton turner got picked up again like why yeah it's i was he was i surprised at jai richardson Another he's one. been injured in the ever since that ashes series yeah. that he played against us yeah he's been injured like he, he he does pretty well in the Big Bash, I think, but like I'm not sure. I don't think he's ever played in the IPL. I think he was potentially meant to play for Punjab last year before he got injured. Yeah. Um, and he's gone to Delhi for six hundred and two thousand yeah. US dollars, like crazy money. But do you know what? I think, Fair play I think if it's if it's one thing that I think any young aspiring cricketer has learned over the course of this week is be Australian. Be Australian and win things in the shop window. Yes. Well, I think that, that, that comes hand in hand with it. I think, I don't think you can be Australian and not win things. That's the, that I think is, it comes with, with part of the, the territory, but yeah, be Australian, be Australian kids. You're going to go for a million bucks in the IPL auction guaranteed. Pat Cummins broke the record in like in the early morning session he went for 20 crore which comes in at two and a half million us dollars like two and a half million bucks for what eight weeks work i I like it i the thing is is it kind of falls into insignificance really when you talk about some of the real big football boys but 
like that is mental. Broke the record, two and a half million dollars, Aussie World Cup winning captain. Like, is he worth two and a half million bucks? Is he? We called him our Test Cricket of the Year, didn't we, last week? We did, we did, yeah. Can he be in the reckoning for the for the T20 Player of the Year next year if he has a good IPL? Who knows? He might do. We need to big those awards up again. Um, I, do you know what? Like, when you talk about sport and money, I just find it really hard to try and like actually quantify what it means yeah and like you said about the footballers like it is i just feel like it is actually like a different world like when you say two and a half million dollars for eight weeks work all right how many games is he gonna play how many balls is he gonna bowl yeah and then he's got old he's got his mate at the other end he's an opening bowling partner goes and steals his record off him and gets however much more cash like they're going to be absolutely rolling in it the pair of them Mitch Stark and Pat Cummins imagine imagine being a child in the Stark or Cummins ha- like household this Christmas like how disappointed would you be to open up your Christmas present and only see like a Terry's chocolate orange knowing that your uncle's just gone for like two and a half million bucks like you're sitting there going well this has got to be a gold plated Xbox Otherwise, the bloke doesn't like me anymore. But outrageous. As you said, Stark, a couple of minutes later, went for 25 crore, which is, is roughly 2.9 million US dollars. Now, Yaz at, the, at Wisden, the bright spark that he is, kind of put a tweet out and, and managed to work out that I think if Mitch Stark played every game in the IPL, which there's no guarantee that he will, but if he played every game in the IPL and bowled all four overs, in each of those games that he played, it works out at six thousand pounds per delivery, six grand per ball. Like if you if you break that down even further, that becomes even more ridiculous. Like six thousand pounds per turning the left arm over. That's more than what some people will earn in like three months. It just this is what I mean. Like it just becomes incomprehensible is that the word like he's getting yeah he's getting 36 grand for the best part of i don't know four and a half five minutes work these 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 quicks imagine how disappointed it'll be if he bowls a noble yeah ah the average the average caper ball's just gone down (laughs) because i've got to deliver another one goodness sake yeah i'm I'm only on like 5.2 thousand per delivery now yeah like that it's crackers, isn't it? Does it? Do they get? It's um, mental. Do you reckon they get performance bonuses as well with the front? Do you know what? I don't know. The only thing, the only thing that I've kind of managed to really kind of figure out from talking to people is, I think, so long as you're, so long as you're there for the whole time, you get paid the full amount. I think if you, if you l- turn up late or leave early, then I think it becomes kind of um, it's like uh, pro rated. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, But if you're there for the whole time, if you don't get picked, I'm pretty sure you still get paid that amount. So you could be absolutely honking in the first couple of games and get dropped from the side and then just still sit there. So long as you don't choose to go home, I think they can send you home. But then at the same time, I think they still pay you. But it is genuinely mental. One thing I would say about it, though, is it got so many people talking about cricket. And I know, like, because m- money's fun to talk about, isn't it? Particularly when, like, those numbers are so ridiculous. It got so many people talking about cricket, which is so exciting. I don't think any other format, any other competition is going to be able to do that. I, I don't know what you feel about it. I know you've not personally been in the a draft yet, um, but I kind of, I like, do you know what? I really like the American, like, college system drafts that go into the, the big leagues and i love the ipl auction what i really don't like is that silly little hybrid that things like the bbl and the hundred use where it's where it's kind of like it's kind of like an auction but it also kind of isn't and it's kind of a bit just have an auction in there get people bidding on these people and just just have some fun with it like who cares who cares if everybody's like money goes on marazan cap in the hundred for next year like have some fun 
just enjoy it. Don't worry about the fact that it's going to be a draft for whatever K it was. Just, just if she wants to go for half a million quid, happy days. Do it. Yeah, I, I, it'll be interesting, won't it? I know there's been a lot of talk about the 100 franchises being kind of privately owned by some of yes, these investors yeah. that own the IPL, which I guess is the limitation and reason why you don't see the kind of free open auction in the BBL or the 100 because they're owned by the essentially the governing bodies aren't they I guess they're essentially owned yes. by Cricket Australia and the ECB at the very heart of it and then yep. they're kind of drip fed so then they only have a certain amount of budget and salary cap or whatever it is that they can spend but well I guess they have that in the IPL too but how that's distributed is a lot it's distributed a lot more evenly uh mm. in the BBL and the hundred in terms of it kind of it's like stop gaps aren't there at each kind of bracket or whatever. Yeah. Um but it certainly it is way more exciting when it's an auction and you've literally got names going under the hammer. Like David Dickinson eat your heart out, isn't it? unreal what would you like what would you prefer as a player would you prefer to be drafted or would you prefer to be auctioned if you had those two options what would you what would your preference be oh i mean the thought of an the thought of an auction is exciting but could also be very brutal when you go and sold <laughs> but i guess it's the yeah, same draft. That point. you could get you could get like there's a chance that you wouldn't get drafted. I reckon it would be, yeah, yeah, auction. I reckon, hundred percent. And if imagine yeah. if you got into a bidding war. Imagine if you as a player were in a bidding war. Like when you said about Stark yeah. and Cummins the other day. Like there's a high chance they were probably together. A hundred percent. When yeah. that auction was going on, because they were playing Pakistan or whatever. I'm not sure if the game had been done or whatever. But there's a high chance that they were probably together when that was going on. And like literally just got a caller over here like sticking their hand up for however much cash and then someone on the other side of the room like just watching that unfold how surreal would that be like Mad. crazy like, absolutely mental absolutely mental i did ask i don't know whether you picked up on it or not but i did ask um for the best and like shock buy of the the auction i put my two down in the notes that i sent across to you so so they're no secret to you but so I'll start and I'll say my best buy in this auction. It was only a mini auction, wasn't it? I think there's one of the super mega awesome massive one next year, I think, when all of the players get like re-released. I think they can I think they can choose to like retain three players, I think. And then everybody else just goes back into the pot and like a massive shake up, which is another thing that I think is fantastic. Anyway, for 180,000 US dollars, Hasaranga to Sunrisers. And I know he's been injured. I know he missed out on the World Cup, but... That guy's like a T20 merchant. And to pick him up for 180K, wax it, bowls leggies, that has to be, from in my head anyway, it's got to be the pick of the the pick of the pick auction. Yeah, it's a bit like gold dust, isn't it? And you look at kind of the, the profile that, and player type that he is, you've got the likes of Rashid Khan in, in that kind of same, I guess, fit profile whatever you want to call it yeah and how much does he get i know he got retained didn't he i think so he's on loads of cash already but yeah that seems a steal for some of the other names that we've already mentioned and the prices that they've gone at like yeah great buy by sunrises and their middle order have you seen their middle order or the you know the yeah wild absolute firepower bombs only yeah stacked yeah unreal. That, well, they've all got keelys like you so <laughs> they're all just going to go out there and hit massive dingers who's your um who was when you look through those lists who who was the one that you picked out as your your like kind of best best pick best buy yeah in terms of like best value i thought ravindra to csk was pretty good for yeah 217k kind of he obviously had a real breakthrough world cup was like I'm not sure anyone could have seen that coming, but the type of player that he is and the way that he went about his business, I don't see why he's not going to have an impact as a 
as a left-hander as well and bowls his slow left arms, doesn't he? Um, which is yeah, always handy to have as well. Um, but yeah, I think he's he's a real impact player that he could have easily gone for quite more money, I think, in my opinion. So yeah, 217k. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. Yeah, the Chennai Super Kiwis. But I think they've got Devon Conway, Daryl Mitchell, Ratchin Ravindra, Mitch Santner, and I'm sure there's one more. I'm sure there's like five Kiwis in that squad, and I can't I can't think of the fifth one. But I looked through it, and all of their all of their little players that had the little aeroplane emojis next to them. It was like, yep, Kiwi, 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 Moe Nally. Um, that was literally going through the list. What about your What about your shock? And I, I guess that could be used in any way. That could be like the guy that went for too much money. It could be the guy that didn't get picked up. It could be the guy that, um, I suppose, it almost like it could go down to like a Best Buy thing again, really, like an, another bargain. But who was your Who was your shock of the auction? Yeah, I went. For, well, I went for Joy Richardson on the premise of getting picked up for more than I think he's probably valued at this moment in cricketing time. Yeah. Based on the fact he has been injured or whatever. And like, he'll probably go and prove me wrong and be leaving t- wicket taker in the big bash now. So good luck to you, Jai and the Perth Scorchers. Um, but yeah, Delhi picked him up for 602,000 US dollars, which I don't know. I feel like yeah. that seems, seems a lot like he's, he's a good player. He's not played that much for Australia. I don't think, um, less than 20 t20 internationals i think so yeah yeah i don't i don't recall him playing internationally since he came in you know he came into the ashes series in was it 20 2021 was it we were last down in australia or was it 21 22 that we were in australia kind of came in didn't he? him and we were just dreadful that time well, I don't think, yeah, to be fair, we've been crap out down there when we haven't had a bubble as well. But we, we can blame it on the bubble. Yeah, we'll blame it on that. Um, but he came into the team, didn't he, with him and, oh, who, it was it Nisa? Did Michael Nisa play? Or was it Boland? And they played that. No, or so Boland took one? the took the 7 for 13, didn't he? But there was a pink ball, the pink ball test oh, where like Nisa, Nisa and I'm sure Nisa and Richardson played. And like Richardson took five in the first innings, I think, and just looked like an absolute million bucks. So, but I agree with you. I think the fact that he hasn't really been on the on the field, I think is is quite tough to quantify. He does, however, look like an absolute bargain in comparison to Spencer yeah. Johnson. $1.2 million to the Gujarat Titans. Now, this bloke, this, don't get me wrong, I, I know the value. The bloke bowls absolute wheels and that, therefore that's where this money comes in from. And he obviously had that that kind of thing at the 100, didn't he, for the Invincibles when he took three for nothing in like the first five balls or whatever he was that he bowled that day. And I'm sure, I think he comes across like a really nice bloke. So I'm, I've got no issue with him picking up $1.2 million and I wouldn't say it to his face and I certainly wouldn't say it to him whilst he was stood at the end of his mark and I had a cricket bat in my hand 22 yards away. But for a bloke that, as I said earlier, like 17 T20 poles in his career and 1.2 million bucks. Now, I, and I guess it does just come down. Like someone boring is going to listen to this and they're going to go, well, it's because he bowls quick and there aren't many of them about. It's like, yeah, that's fine. And that makes logical sense. But it's not very fun, is it, to talk about that stuff. It's inexperienced, raw, which is exciting. But 1.2 million? Like million? Like that's double a Jai Richardson, and Jai Richardson's played Test cricket for Australia, like double. Yeah, I think it seems as though some of the figures that have been uh, banded around in this auction are obviously greater than what we've seen in years gone by. But even like a couple of years ago, like I can't imagine there were that many other players going for much more than that. In the auction, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like he would be in like the top three or four um, auctioned off players, like a yeah. few years ago, I'm sure, with the m- amount of money that he's um, got in his pocket this time round. And like you say, he he's pretty he's, he's green, isn't he? If you were going to describe him, like he clearly has bags of potential. He's left arm as well, isn't he? Which is also as Mitchell Stark has the example of, it's yes. like mint and he's rapid. But I don't know. Mm. I feel like 
these fast bowlers are only an injury away from things changing in their career most of the time, aren't they? So, Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, Spencer Johnson, 1.2 million. I just leave you, before we move on, I just leave you with Alzari Joseph to RCB. 1.3 million US dollars. And I'm sure, again, he's a lovely bloke, but I don't think I've ever seen him play a good game of cricket. Anyway, moving on. Let's move on. Let's not dwell on that anymore. Let's not. But also could have easily said about Phil Salt being a shock. Bless him. Forgot to say about that. That's outrageous. Genuinely outrageous. I don't understand how that's not. How how has he not picked up a gig? Like he did well for Delhi last year, which is more so than some of those other blokes that actually have been re-picked up again. Like Harry Brook. Like Phil Salt outplayed Harry Brook. Phil Salt's just scored like back-to-back hundreds in T20s. Did we lose last night? I think we probably did have in... Or did we? Yeah, we, I lost, we probably yeah. would have done. When I saw it, it was like 132 all out. I was like, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound great. Um, but yeah, how how he hasn't been given a contract, I've got no idea. 